where Pacquiao is either Elvis or Ali, depending on your choice, this is the only event in the world that counts. Velasquez, for his part, says, I'm bigger and stronger. He's not really a 130-pound fighter. Even those around Pacquiao would confess that they think his best weight is 126. But he fights at 130, chasing another big fight with Morales. Hard left hand from Pacquiao. What it may be short in in terms of weight, he makes up an explosive punching power. one produces contact so far sufficient to demonstrate that Velasquez isn't going to try to hide from Pacquiao's speed and power Velasquez saying to Pacquiao I thought you were a fighter let's see you fight me uppercut inside by Pacquiao stiff right hand by Velasquez momentarily backs the Filipino star off so far Velasquez is better to the bit his head down has been making it very difficult for Pacquiao to land his favorite punch a straight left hand using with his opponents with their heads up so far he hasn't been able to do that because of the low head movement there was the straight the left, left hand he led with it and landed the punch in the past Pacquiao has been criticized for repeating the same pattern over and over in the ring particularly against Juan Manuel Marquez jab jab left hand jab jab left hand not enough variety Velasquez avoids a headbutt and bangs Pacquiao twice to the body. Velasquez taking it right to Manny Pacquiao in round one, and Pacquiao looks as though he didn't exactly expect this. No, and for the most part, Pacquiao is doing the same thing. He's still trying to land that powerful straight left hand of his. Pacquiao landed a right. Velasquez landed a right hand after earlier driving Pacquiao back with the left so they're trading shots just a little bit more than two minutes into round one it's the kind of fight Manny Pacquiao wants to fight but against an opponent who looks bigger and stronger and his opponent is very confident and very focused I think this Mexican crowd right here has given him a lot of uh, encouragement and he saw Pacquiao look to the crowd and shake his head a little bit as if to say he's trying to butt me with his skull. There's a big right hand by Velasquez. Pacquiao tries to answer straight away with a hard left hand. And there's a good left from Pacquiao. Velasquez holds his hands out as if to say that didn't hurt. And actually head butts may be a big factor in this fight the way it's going also. They've flirted with head butts three or four times in the first round already. Serious head butts too. And as we go to the corners where they speak Filipino or Tagalog, I should say, in Pacquiao's corner. Our interpreter is Ernie Kalua. And across the ring, where they speak Spanish in Velasquez's corner, our interpreter will be Ray Torres. Got it. Now, don't wait on this guy so much. You want him to be first. You be first in the jab, okay? Okay, right? He said, now, we need more head movement, okay? You gotta move your head more. You are a better friend. Faint him. Be lively. Be In exchanges, go forward. Throw your jab. Southpaw against conventional fighter. Always a danger of a headbutt. This time they avoided any damage. Pacquiao was bothered in the first fight against Morales by a cut that he suffered in the fifth round of the fight. The cut could have been the product of a punch or of a headbutt. Look at the wild swinging that typifies the action to begin round two. The last race is nowhere near the accurate uh, power puncher of Pacquiao, but he's still coming in very, very determined, and his style seems to be giving a little problem to Pacquiao. Well, and his size as well, because... He's been hit some nice solid punches and uh, walked right through them. Right. Pacquiao's biggest win was his devastating TKO of Marco Antonio Barrera in San Antonio in November of 03. 
since that time he's been fighting bigger guys. Marquez, Morales, now Velasquez, all of them bigger and stronger than Barrera, and it's been different. It's been different. He's a very exciting, emotional type fighter, very explosive. But his biggest weakness, if you'll notice, is after he throws that powerful left hand sometime, temporarily he's out of position because he punches with so much power, and some of these guys come back with right hands and they catch him. What about the fact that he's such a rampant offensive attacker that he has a still head and is not that difficult to hit? That's true. <laughs> Morales certainly took advantage of that in outboxing him earlier this year. Used Pacquiao's head as a target for his jab over and over. Now Manny begins to assert himself a little bit more here in round two. He's trying to find that knockout power with that left hand. And he's getting closer and closer. It's going to take an accumulation, it would appear. But the accumulation could well take place. Mm -hmm. see, once again, that's what I said. After he throws that left hand punch, that's when he gets caught using right after that. But he, he got Velasquez with a counter left hand in right. that last once again. That stunned Velasquez. Velasquez now nailing Pacquiao with the right. Pacquiao backs Velasquez off with the left. Velasquez wobbled momentarily after two big Pacquiao left hands. You know, the guy like Velasquez, sometimes you have to watch very carefully. He's so uncoordinated and dangly that you'll get excited thinking that he's hurt and maybe overextend yourself. Pacquiao is starting to get more accurate with both his jab and the left hand. That lead left hand landed flush. Now the speed begins to show up. Pacquiao is trying to take a, a, a break right now just to figure out what's going on. He blocked one right hand with his glove, took the second right hand, and shook his head a bit. Pacquiao landing a left in there. Velasquez with a right and a left. Wild action extends beyond the bell at the end of round two. A fight has broken <laughs> out. Yeah. He's got quick hands, that's all. He doesn't even know how to fight. You know better. You're a better fighter than he is. This is your opportunity. Don't waste it. You understand me? You are superior to him in everything. Don't let him take the initiative. He can't even fight. You know how to fight. You've been in the gym for a long time. Throw the overhand right and hit him underneath. Come on, hit him hard, underneath. CompuBox numbers through the first two rounds. Power punches only. Forget jabs. Pacquiao's thrown 109 power punches already. Landed 37. Velasquez has unleashed 76 power shots. Landed 28. Straight right hand for Velasquez. Velasquez swinging away with the right hand after Pacquiao popped him inside with the left. And you heard Velasquez's corner, Emmanuel. They think he's overexcited and they want him to be more under control. Yeah, he's a very, I guess you're such a strong pro Mexican crowd, even though you have a good Filipino no, 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 crowd no, no, here, but it's, I think he's gotten wrapped up into the excitement of the crowd here. That's right, he's he's momentarily wearing Eric Morales' cape because he's got the full support of Morales' crowd. So but, maybe he feels yeah. like he's Morales. But also, you know, with about the same token, even though he's not the most talented guy, he's doing something I think is very good with his limited talent, and that is punching that weird right hand that he throws after Pacquiao finishes punching because Pacquiao's out of position usually after he finishes up his flurries. Larry made the point about uh, conventional fighter versus a southpaw. But in truth, Manny Pacquiao doesn't stay in a southpaw stance all that much. That's right, and that's why often why he's falling to get hit a lot. He actually gets square sometimes after he throws punches, like right there. He would just as soon square up because he wants to fight. He's a very exciting, explosive fighter. I love him. He's one of my favorite fighters. So well, we want to see guys who hit and get hit. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao hits and gets hit. Hard left hand. 
I have this sense that Pacquiao's speed is beginning to dominate, but that Velasquez is dangerous, and anywhere along the line he could land a big punch that could change the fight. The speed is just such a big difference over there. Velasquez is just so much slower, and also it looks like Pacquiao seems to be in very good condition. Even though he's punching a lot, he seems to have recuperating pals very good and coming back right after each exchange. Does appear to be in sensational shape. Pacquiao is known to be a gym rat, very proud of his training habits. Prior to the Morales fight, Filipino fans in Los Angeles were allowed to come to the wild card gym where Freddie Roach trains Pacquiao and watch him train on a daily basis. After that fight, Roach decided that was too much of a distraction, and this time around, they shut them out. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Whenever they set up and face each other again, it's usually Pacquiao who lands first because of his greater speed. His favorite combination is to land you over the right jab and shoot a powerful left hand. And sometimes he comes back out of position, but he shoots so much power that sooner or later he's going to start contacting. Somebody comes as hard as Pacquiao, he doesn't have to look good. And suddenly Velasquez is, doesn't seem as confident that uh, the kid in front of him is going to be smaller and somebody he can handle. Well, something interesting on the replay there. If, if you're going to block a punch with your glove, it'd be a good idea to hold the glove firm so that it doesn't go right into your face. As is what happened to Velasquez there. There's the speed and the big left hand by Pacquiao. Harold Letterman, how do you have it? Three rounds. Uh, okay, Jim. Two rounds to one. 29, 28. Manny Pacquiao. Jim, that's what Hector Velasquez did enough with that that right that looping right hand to win round one. But at rounds two and three, Manny Pacquiao with that straight left hand and that move after he hits him has just been murdering Velasquez. I mean, Velasquez has to score when Manny Pacquiao's right in front of him, and that's all there is to it. Power connects in round three. Pacquiao was 18 out of 47. Velasquez, 8 out of 38. So Velasquez got a benefit early on from swinging away and unleashing his offense. But more and more, Pacquiao has found the openings in that attack to allow him to land power punches. Yes, it's a very tough fight for Pacquiao. I never expected it to be this difficult. But, you know, I guess it's, it's a tough guy mentally, I think, and physically. And also, you know, you basically, Pacquiao still doing basically the same thing over and over them. If he would relax and box them like they've been telling him, he can maybe be more effective with power punches, but everything that he does is a power punch. He drives his opponent into a defensive mode with merely the way he shoots his jab. Usually. He acts in thriller movies in the Philippines. He's been in five different movies in each of the last two. He's the star. His buddies are wrestlers and action fighters from other kinds of action uh, fighting sports and combat sports. He wants every moment of his life to be a thriller. Yeah, but it, 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 it is, but you know, I don't know how many of these type fights he can keep having back to back. And when you're fighting the quality guys, you don't knock them out that easy. Well, fighters like this, as you know, Emmanuel, they have a few hot years when they're filled with confidence. And it's the time you just got to take the gun and shoot it. Larry, you're right, but still, a fighter like him, he has to do what he's doing right now. He may make enough money in the next year or two where if he does run out of energy, so to say, he'll at least be a rich man. Sluggers. He has, in some ways, 
the kind of life that Jack Dempsey had. He has, in some ways, the kind of life that Mike Tyson had at his peak in the ring. Manny which, Pacquiao which, has parallels to both those guys. Which, as fans, we benefit from. <laughs> Absolutely. Everything, everything is fine. You took all his punches. Come on, you got to be a little quicker, though. How you feeling? He hit you with everything and didn't do anything to you. You got to keep throwing that jab, but quick, very swift. Don't let him. Okay. Hey, they show me, show me some real nice body shots out there. I want that body work a little more, okay? Yeah, but I'm here. Huh? Watch his head, okay? Really? Throw the left hand from outside behind the jab. Right down the middle. That's a beautiful body shot. Come back with the hook. One, two, three. Okay? Jim, you mentioned his movies. He's got a new one out, appropriately titled Licensed Fist, which is opening next week in Los Angeles. And he's also going to... He's also going to sing with the Black Eyed Peas in a song called Champion. Licensed Fist for a Champion. Black Eyed Peas are red hot. Manny Pacquiao's red hot. Good match. Guy B's are a high contact group. Manny Pacquiao is a high contact fighter. And his, the last guys are just so relaxed. That's why it's so difficult to hurt him. He's it, just a totally relaxed his body. Everything is easy going. And he absorbs and goes with every blow that he gets hit with. You know, Freddie Roach asked Manny Pacquiao to pull, throw a few more body punches. I sometimes get the impression he could go a whole month without throwing a body punch. No, he just loves to fight him. He's a very exciting guy. He explosive, then he rests, recuperates, then he explodes again, rests again, then explodes again. Wouldn't he make it easier if he would focus on the body just a little bit, Emmanuel? Oh, yeah, and he could box a little bit, mix up his attack. Every punch don't have to be a knockout punch. He can relax his opponent, and then a hard punch would be more effective. But when you see him moving towards you, you can expect nothing but dynamite in every punch. Here's a good body punch. And there's a good, solid left hand upstairs good set up by the body punch. Velasquez gets in a good little shot to the body. Pacquiao just keeps bombing him upstairs with rights and lefts. No, no, no. right hands tonight than we usually see him. Yes. You know, when he, when he gets tired after his explosion and wants to take a break, his opponent, Velasquez, follows him, but he follows him so slow that he can take his break and, and set up and start all over again without being in any danger. It's another good right hand. All right, and as the fighters go to their corners, let's take a look at a sensational moment from the undercard. 2000 United States Olympian Brian Valoria fighting for a world championship in the light flyweight division. The Hawaiian punch in the white trunks. This is the end of round one. And Valoria landed that sensational right hand to the chin of Eric Ortiz. Ortiz struggled manfully to get up, but at the end of what had been a violent round one, Ortiz fell back to his knees and Valoria with a first round knockout, became the third member of the 2000 Olympic team to win a world championship, joining Jermaine Taylor and Jeff Lacey. Lacey, who is here tonight. 
Emmanuel Stewart, Brian Valori was sensational tonight. Yes, he was. You know, it's, it, he's the smallest guy of the team to win a title, but the most impressive knockout of all of them. In fact, he was considered the biggest puncher on the entire Olympic team in 2000, even though he was the smallest guy. And en route to the ring to score that knockout, Valoria gave a hug to the fighter he fought in his last fight here in Staples Center, a Mexican fighter named Ruben Contreras. The story there was that after Valoria knocked out Contreras in the sixth round, Contreras suffered subdural bleeding and actually was taken to a hospital where he nearly died. Contreras has won the battle for his life. He's getting better. And Valoria dedicated his knockout tonight to his previous opponent. That was very nice of him, too. Also, uh, Jim Valoria, it turns out, something we didn't uh, fully know, is an Hawaiian-American, of course, but he is a 100% Filipino background so that he can uh, take advantage of all the Filipino fans oh, no, 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 uh, who have no, come no. out for Pacquiao, and maybe that'll be part of his fan base as well. Copy box numbers through round five. Pacquiao's landed 109 power shots. Velasquez has landed 68. Shows you what a dynamic offensive force Pacquiao is. Shows you that he leaves himself open defensively. Yes, it does. But this is a perfect opponent for him in preparation for the fight with Morales. Because even though he may get tired and he's having a rough contest, the slowness of the opponent, Velasquez, will always permit him to be able to get away. Uh, there's, a, there's an abrasion alongside the left eye of Velasquez testimony to those right hands he's been catching just like that sizzling right hand inside by Pacquiao who has zeroed in in the last couple of rounds and seems to be getting more and more accurate with his power shots but I'm very impressed with his stamina and his condition right because he's thrown a lot of punches I mean power punches and still is punching with full power at this stage of the fight there's a creeping doubt in my mind Emmanuel as to whether Manny Pacquiao is really a 130-pound fighter. No, I don't think so. I think his best weight is 126 pounds. And, but when you're fighting guys who are like Muratis, who are coming in from 140, that natural weight, it can be a big factor late in the fight. Perfect right hand by Pacquiao. Right hook. Stuns Velasquez. Pacquiao trying to finish it. Got 40 seconds to get it done. One of the most vicious finishers in the sport. Velasquez in big trouble now. Trying to hold on. Well, the last race is doing something that's very smart. Clint, even if you have to fall down with the opponent. Pacquiao just missed a counter left hand that would have ended the fight. Good job of holding on by Velasquez. He's still staggering. Velasquez is not only hurt, I think fatigue is a big factor now. There's no way I can see him going to the fight. The increasing accuracy of Pacquiao's shots making a difference. And Velasquez goes to his knee as the round comes to a close. They're saying he did so before the bell, so it is a knockdown. And that's a, good call a stoppage. Good call by the referee. Something nobody else has done among the name opponents that he has fought in recent years. He is the Pac-Man, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao does his part, and in typical Manny Pacquiao fashion. He wasn't going to take no for an answer on the knockout quest tonight. I was very impressed tonight. <laughs> Punching power, stamina, everything. I was just about to come to the conclusion it was going to be very difficult for him to get that knockout tonight. <laughs> and he stepped up the accuracy of his power shots and, and started landing them all right on the button. And especially the right hook. You know, everyone was looking for the left hand, he landed the right hook, and that's what started most of the problems. All right, let's take a look here. This is the first moment at which Velasquez was hurt. Look at the perfect right hook. As Velasquez was stepping in, Pacquiao picking his spot and nailing him with the, that right hook. The punch that you don't see is the punch that always hurts you. And then a barrage of straight left hands following that. And referee Lou Filippo watching closely to be certain that Velasquez was still throwing, still defending himself. When Velasquez went down, Filippo gave him the count and realized that the Mexican fighter had had enough of Pacquiao's constant storm of power punches. 
I'm looking very much forward to his fight with Morales. Morales. You are. <laughs> so Manny Pacquiao's luster grows again. And referee, I keep saying Lou Filippo, that's Lou Moret. Let me correct that. we got two Lou's here in California, and that's Lou, Lou Moret who made the good stoppage. And now let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official particulars on the Pacquiao knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Staples Center, Los Angeles, California, Dr. Lou Moret, your referee, calls a halt to the contest following the knockdown, the official time. Two minutes. 59 seconds of round number six. The winner by knockout victory. He is the new WBC Super Featherweight International Champion.